Another good tool to use to present content to your students is whiteboard.fi. You go here and click new class. You can read the options below to see if that those benefit your class. Click create class. Then share this with your students. Tell them to, you can type this, copy and paste it into the chat box in Google Meet and have students click on it. When they click on it, students are going to be taken to this screen where they enter their name. So if they put John Smith, they would click join whiteboard class and then they would see their own whiteboard that they can write on. Now this button here that says toggle teacher whiteboard, if they click this, they can see your whiteboard. So this is where you can add examples. You can also add a picture, which I really like. If you click on my whiteboard and then click insert an image, this is where I like to insert an image of something that we're working on in class. And then I can post it onto the whiteboard and then annotate it. So I like to use that option a lot. Again, I'll show you what this looks like. You can upload the image. And then you can pick the problem that you want to work on and students can see your whiteboard as you are talking. So if you are sharing your screen, you're going to see your face on Google Meet. And then on the other side of their screen, they'll have this whiteboard website pulled up so that they can work along these problems with you. If you want to see every student's screen, you will click on my class and then you can see what John Smith has attempted on the assignment that you have uploaded on the whiteboard. You can also insert a background image. You can draw polygons for math, circles, rectangles. This would be a fantastic resource for area. And for students who have trouble with writing with their mouse, you can always click draw a text and then students can type instead of draw.